This video will show you how the ECU XML is created. I only have ECU 411 in hand, but I will show you if you do not have the proper XML, how can you create one to properly access ECU via USB BDM and T. Here I deleted the ECU 411 targets. Here is the board of the ECU. This is the main CPU. Here is the flash. The model number is 28F400B5. I assume all the BDM connection is done properly. This is what we know. Our flash is 28F400 and it is 512 kilobyte. The address starts at zero and ends at 7FFF. Step one, read back the flash. Select any BDM target. Here I select DCT2224. Power on the ECU and type reset 1. Here we see BDM on on lower right. This tells the CPU is in BDM on mode. Look closely the RPC here. The value does not look right. This is because BDM clock speed is too high for the ECU. Select 3 meg clock and type reset 1 again. The RPC value looks right now. Read back the 512 kilobyte flash and save it. Now create a basic XML for ECU 411. Go to Tools, New Target XML, select Category as Others, Protocol BDM, and give its name. Here it is ECU 411. Create one flash memory tab with starting address 0 and the size is hex 80000. Now you can see you have a target called ECU411. Select it. You can see the clock is still set to 6 MHz. You need to manually edit the file. Add speed line and set to 1. In BDM, this means 3 MHz. Reload USB BDM application and do some basic operation. Here I can compare the data read before and everything looks right. Now hit detect and you can see the flash model cannot be detected. The reason we cannot detect the flash is that we need to initialize the CPU registers to allow chip select to work. We need to disassemble the firmware to be able to get proper initialization sequence. Download the Motorola disassembler from www.usbjtag.com. Extract it. Run the disassembler to disassemble the flash file. Here is the file generated by the disassembler. Now open both the ASM file and the binary file. In the ASM file, you can find the proper entry at address 4. Here is the hex 440. Follow that. You can find the initializations and there is also a main block at address 12E4. We need to look at the Motorola 68331 and look for address FFA48. This is for chip select for the boot. We need to look at the full address 48, 4A, 4B, 
4C and 4E. Look at the assembly. We can see the four edges initialization use the data from 15A2 and up. Here is the initialization needed. Note, we change the value for FFA4E from 1060 to 7060. This can also be found in the code in here, and data is in 160E. This is the final XML file. Note, we added one line to only allow slow programming. Doing fast programming need more data, and we are not going to bother doing it. Here are the initializations needed to program. Let us do some programming on this device. First, let's erase it. Let's verify the erase is OK. Let's program the backup. and verify it's OK. I hope you have learned something to use the BDM on new target.